with head coach Leon Neal as his team gets ready to start the 2015-16 season. Uh, coach, last year, and it was frustrating because you had a good start to your year, and then it just kind of got dismantled with the injuries. Uh, it had to make you look forward to starting this season, not only uh, getting healthier that you will be eventually, but you integrated a lot of new faces too. Yes, we did. Uh, I Just last season was just a tough road for us, for anybody to lose as many as we had last year. Um, I thought, you know, the kids that played got a lot of experience. So that's helping us, you know, right now as we come back into this year's season. But you just can't lose the kids we lose and, uh, and try to uh, keep some kind of chemistry. It seemed like every week we were changing up the lineup to do something to keep, you know, somebody going. But um, that's, what, that's why we play the game. Uh, you just go and uh, try to do your best and, and get better. And I think this year uh, those kids benefited from that that time. And it, you always look at the good, and I think that's what's helped them. Let's talk about your injury situation right now as it relates to two players you lost as last season went along. Danielle Latt. Uh, you lost to a knee injury around the end of November, and then Taylor Longley in mid-December. Where are they at in, in terms of returning to your roster? Well, Danielle's doing well. She's back and uh, at 100%. Um, you know, her thing right now is just, you know, getting back the timing uh, into her game, and uh, she's really working hard. You know, she's... Um, you know, sometimes you, you just got to slow her down because, you know, she's excited to be back. And so she's given everything um, we have, gives us experience inside, obviously at the forward spot that's going to help us. Defensively, She she's long, and, and, you know, she's one player that has the ability to stay with those, uh, you know, three, two kids um, because of her length and her speed. So um, that helps us there. She runs the floor really nice. Uh, I think her, you know, her just wanting to be back, missing it, uh, has helped her through the preseason. She's on the mission. So she's working hard every day. Uh, and then you have Taylor. Uh, she is working very hard. Um, had good news on her about three weeks ago. Um, she's almost where she needs to be uh, as far as her uh, legs. She's cutting now, and she's you know, dribbling and shooting off the dribble a lot more now. So we look to have her starting back uh, somewhere mid-November, somewhere in there, uh, bring her through slowly. But she's um, another one just anxious. You know, you got to kind of slow her down a little bit and uh, tell her to just, uh, you know, ease into it. So she's excited uh, to get back, and she just can't wait to get back right now. One key player that you have returning, and it, one of those that wound up uh, getting a lot of experience and having her role expand a lot is a senior, Jessica Lessman. Uh, you asked her to do all sorts of things last year. Really a, a key defender for you in terms of her athleticism. <laughs> Last year, you asked her to handle the ball, uh, find open shots and try to score, uh, and even rebound some. Uh, and uh, as you look forward into moving, moving with your team ahead this year, you have to look at that as now uh, a valuable piece to your puzzle because she was kind of forced to do a lot of things and expand her game quickly. Yes, I, and this year, once again, until we get the, our guards back, she's going to be in that role again. But uh, she has improved on her ball handling. Um, she's working hard. The one thing she does give us is she's so athletic that she can, you can put her on a point guard because of her length and her athleticism uh, and her speed. Uh, that gives us a, you know, kind of an advantage at that spot. And then them trying to guard her, too, uh, at the same situation because she likes to slash. and closer to the basket she elevates nice off the dribble so um, we're excited about it as she goes we're going to go um, and you know with us you know running uh, hard and screening a little more I think that's going to help us a little bit to get her some easy shots and then obviously with our, with the inside kids which is where I think our strength is uh, it's going to help our shooters. That is Ali Swanson. She's had given you two really good seasons. She's been an All-American twice, but I know that uh, you still think there's a ton of potential there for her as she moves into her junior year. 
Yeah, Allie has worked really hard. Um, she's kind of developed the jump hook now, so that's which I'm so glad that she's worked at it. Um, we just got to get her build up her confidence in shooting it a lot more. Um, I mean, she's she's doing well. She's running the floor, rebounding hard. Um, the one thing she she's developed is she can hit that little ten to twelve footer now, and so that kind of helps us uh, in our in our offense. So she gives us uh, another dimension that's going to help our shooters. And and with us, uh, especially being a little taller at the guard spot, I think that uh, that gives us you know, a better defensive presence out on the floor because we can guard, don't have to be too close. We got the length. And so uh, we're hoping to keep people out of foul trouble. And, uh, and number one thing, just making sure that we get the ball to Allie in different uh, positions so where she can score. What newcomers do you look to contribute right away? Well, I, I right now looking at the group, for, for sure, um, the kid out of Plato, Lexi McNeil, is definitely – Gives us a, another dimension. She's long. She can play three spot, three, four, five. Uh, runs the floor extremely well. Uh, shoots the ball nice uh, for her size. And um, she can defensively, she's learning and just got really good IQ as far as the court. Uh, she's learning quickly. Her thing is, you know, we just got to get her a little stronger to where she can handle the forwards and, you know, that the teams that we're going to face. As um, far as our athleticism, I think she's going to be fine there in, in her speed. Um, the other player is uh, McKenzie from Mount Vernon. I think she's going to give us solid position at the guard spot right now. Uh, she played that in, in high school. So um, her thing is learning how to lead a team, you know, uh, being able to distribute the ball. She sees the floor nice. She just uh, in a it's a big difference between high school and college. So I think as far as her strength, I think she has the body to handle, you know, college guards. Where she's learning is uh, defensively. She's got to work on her defense. It's head coach Leon Neal. Evangel starts the season with a preseason game October 27. They begin the year in Bethel, Tennessee, October 30th. For EvangelAthletics.com and the Heart of America Conference, I'm Ed Beach.